I have recorded many viral videos reaching millions of views with just using my phone only at 720p which is a fairly low quality actually. As a matter of fact most of my viral videos were shot with just my phone. The truth is that a phone setup can be very powerful because it creates a lot of relatability with your audience and creates authenticity and for exactly this reason we see a lot of high profile people, celebrities using their phone for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything really. And if it's good enough for them then it's most definitely good enough for us so let's dive in right away the first setup we are going to talk about is the lamp setup now this is great for shooting overhead shots of you making artwork you writing in your journal you doing anything on your desk basically and for this setup you only need an adjustable lamp and two-sided sticky tape so first you want to stick the tape on top of your lamp and then put your phone on top of that tape and now you have a tripod basically that you can move in all directions and shoot every type of overhead video with. Now the tape will cost you around one or two dollars and will probably last you a couple of years so that means that it's a very cheap option and after you shot your footage you have to take the plastic and put it on top of the tape again so you can reuse that tape that same tape afterwards again and again and again the next setup we are going to talk about is the laptop setup but before we do that let me give you a quick little tip a mistake that most people are making is when they are shooting with their phone they first set the quality at the highest quality possible to get the highest result possible now this is with good intention but will actually not give you the best quality the higher settings like 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second will give you a very artificial look that doesn't look natural and they will also make your file sizes twice as big or four times as big and so the result here is just less good overall and so what you want to do instead is put your camera at 1080p and 30 frames per second or 25 frames per second something like that the only time that you want to use 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second is if you are shooting slow motion footage of moving images like sport events or uh, your dog or dancing people whatever another thing that you want to do is to check the shutter speed on the like button of this video make sure you press it make sure it turns blue those things help a lot with the algorithm so thank you very much so let's talk about the laptop setup this setup is great for talking head videos videos where you talk directly in the camera like what i'm doing right now building this setup is as easy as piling a stack of books on top of one another and then putting your laptop and phone on those books making sure that the camera position is slightly lower than your face we're talking about five centimeters or something and then you want to move the laptop screen to a just the angle of your video if you want to go all the way you can also broadcast the screen of your phone on your computer so you can easily adjust your shot and compose your shot while using the back camera of your phone instead of the lower quality front camera another quick little side tip before we go on to the next setup is to clean your lens otherwise everything else that we've been talking about is completely obsolete now just use your shirt don't use some fancy cleaning equipment unless you want to spend a lot of money of course the next setup is the music stand setup and it's a great alternative to the laptop setup where you can do talking head videos with so what you're going to do is you put the music stand then you take sticky two-sided sticky tape that we've talked about before and then you stick your phone on the music stand or alternatively you can put the music stand horizontally and use it as some sort of table on which you can put your phone and record like that another quick side tip is to put your phone while recording or before recording on flight mode otherwise you're going to get text messages and calls coming in that, which will distort your recording session the next setup is the book setup this is for people who don't have a lamp like we had in the previous example or if you're traveling and you don't have a lamp or something like that anyway for this one you want to use a big book preferably an art book then you want to put a book on top of this like this again preferably an art book or anything from Goethe and you also want to make sure the boundary is as far away from the big art book as possible so the book will not be in your screen while recording and then you want to put on some counterweights preferably good to great by Jim Collins for example and put your phone on top of the book now the problem with this setup is that if you accidentally hit the book or hit the table that your phone might fall off and so what we also want to do is stick tape on your phone so that it doesn't fall off and then as a final thing for this video I have a checklist of obvious things that don't need a lot of explanation but are too important to not mention in this video number one make sure 
you have enough storage space on your phone otherwise you're going to record something and then notice afterwards that you didn't record it because of storage space storage space number two make sure you use good lighting the easiest way is probably just going in front of a window with good natural light uh, falling on your face the third thing on this list is probably the most important one and that is to like this video signaling to your brain that you really want to remember this stuff this is some important stuff okay number four don't waste your time and wait for the golden hour of perfect sunlight that falls in you are not an instagram girl that is insecure about her looks and can only shoot when the sun is at the perfect position or something like that number five make sure your phone is charged enough obviously number six Make sure that if you're shooting longer videos to put your exposure on your phone on manual so it stays the same throughout the whole shot. Otherwise you're going to have when a cloud comes by or more sunlight or whatever, it's going to start flickering and become extremely dark or extremely bright, things like that, you don't want it. Number seven, another great tip is to look into the camera on a regular basis to create connection and the illusion of eye contact, you see? Now I'm looking in the camera a couple of centimeters away out of the camera angle or out of the camera lens and you see it's completely different. In camera, confidence, out, shy. Confidence, shy. Confidence, shy. Confidence, shy. Confidence, shy. I mean, you get it. Another great tip for taking talking head videos is to wear your most comfortable pants, leggings. People are not going to see that anyway. What I personally prefer and do for all my videos, including this one that you've been watching all the way through, is to go from the waist down completely naked and you didn't even notice it's all possible anyway last but not least make sure to check out my other video on how to take pictures with your phone it's a great addition to this video my name is Dries Kedels and remember art is the only necessity